Hi guys, Brian here, Big B Rebooted, your favorite fat guy. Guess I can still use that tagline, at least for a little while, huh? I'm here to take you on another fishing adventure. Uh, I am just a couple weeks out from surgery. I'm feeling okay. I was given the okay by the doctor to resume light, normal activity. So waiting is out I just don't feel comfortable doing that I don't feel safe I don't want to hurt myself so I'm gonna do something a little different today I'm going to go after some panfish but I'm not exactly sure where um, I may try I'm gonna start out I believe at the spillway at Racetown Lake and then there's a couple other spots that I'm going to try. If that doesn't pan out, then, you know, then I'll hit a couple other spots and see if I can get into some fish. But I'm not looking for anything big. I'm not fishing for bass. I'm not, I'm just taking my time, just sort of getting out and relaxing. And that's what this video is all about. Just getting out and enjoying the day. So hopefully I can catch a few fish, make a decent video for you. We'll see. Stick around. Oh guys, I'm out. I'm gonna get down here, hopefully I don't fall. Go over here by this tree and cast out. It is a beautiful day here in central Pennsylvania. It's definitely nice to get out here, man. You know? Nice to get out and just fish, do something other than sit in the house. Taking walks every now and then is good, but actually getting out, man, it's... I needed that. I needed this. I was looking at kayaks. I'd love to be able to get out and kayak maybe later this summer. But... Uh, the kayak I want, which is a Old Town Sportsman PDL 120, just a little bit out of my price range, so I'm gonna have to wait. Could just like at this, you know, I could put it in here, go up to the head of this island here, because that's what this is. There's an island right there. And then float down. Well, let's see where we end up now, huh? I would sit on my ass if I could. Oh, here we go. Here we go, fish on. And it's my favorite fish. Can you guess it, guys? It's a fall fish. There you go, buddy. See you later. Well, I met a fellow from Pittsburgh here the other day. He and his wife, uh, they were out, they were up, you know, oh, I just missed another one. They were up and uh, just fishing up there at the spillway, which I went there today and 
to make a long story short, they're doing some sort of construction, so they have it, they have it uh, closed off to the public, which sucks because that's really only one of the few places where I could go and actually comfortably set. So, but I'll do this for as long as I can here, and if I keep getting bites now, you know, I'm using worms, so. It's most likely fall fish, sunfish. Maybe the occasional bass. And there's a nice fish. I'm dicking around with my camera. Wow. Come here, buddy. I just hope my camera was rolling. Look at this guy. There's the surprise of the day. See you later, buddy. Thank you. That is freaking awesome. originally came here I wasn't fishing for bass I was actually fishing for sunfish and bluegill because this is just polluted with them but I've caught anything but you know it's been kind of crazy kind of crazy I wish I I could get out there just a little bit further. But I don't have any weight either. I didn't bring anything with me. Because like I said, I wasn't uh, I wasn't planning on fishing in this style, but that's about as far as I can get it. There's something coming up there. I don't know if I load a whole worm on there or not that I'd get lucky and be able to get out there. Okay, I got something tapping me here. I got little sunfish coming up where my line's in the water. That was kind of unfair. I seen him come after it. Oh, you got it good, didn't you? Little fella. But, we'll see you later, Slick. He smacked it pretty hard. Well, 
I changed locations, guys. Something that seems to be a regular occurrence to me this year is people just rolling right up next to me when there's nobody else around. And literally fishing right next to me. I mean, I kind of come back to life here a little bit. I was, the sun was getting to me, I think, a little bit too. But, you know, that just, that just sticks in my crawl a little bit. And I just missed one. <laughs> my first rock bass of the year come on you got a belly on you there you go see you later buddy yes sir -y. well at least I didn't get skunked here today huh that's a beautiful thing Well, it's a beautiful day out. I'm sitting here. I'm looking. I can see. I can see sunfish. They're all over the place in here. Did I get him? That's just a little one. What do we got? Another rock bass. <laughs> little fella. Come here, buddy. Here you go. That's a little guy. Grow up and be a big guy. Thanks, buddy. Well. The doctor did say light activity so catching small fish is kind of light activity isn't it <laughs> let that out there for a second but it, I'm almost certain my worm went flying into the next time zone I am planning on this summer when I recuperate after I, I heal I'm going to do a little tutorial video of how I use the Nico Helgramite I've been asked a whole bunch of times oh, and I just miss one oh, rat 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 but I've been ask by a whole bunch of different people a whole bunch of different times you know how do you fish them because i use them and i don't have the success you do well all i can tell you is i can i can uh, i can show you my setup show you how i what jigs i use what you know what line I use what rod I use and then the rest is up to you but I've kind of stumbled across a fairly good setup that 
that nets me a lot and I mean a lot of bass well, I think this is going to be my last worm that I'm putting on because because I am my stamina just isn't what it was and I'm getting tired my stomach's a little upset I'm thirsty so this is like my last hurrah that'll make it a short video but hey you know what it's all good I'm gonna walk over here somebody's just ignorant man they're just throwing these damn fall fish they're catching them and throwing them on the bank I don't like fall fish as much as the next guy but let's get real right Look at that, that's a nice one. It's a fall fish. <laughs> Come on dude, I'm trying to get that out of your mouth. There you go. Pretty big fall fish. He smacked the living shiznit out of it. Well, if he's the last one to catch, so be it. I don't care. That's it, my friends. Time for, time for me to call it a day. At least I didn't get skunked. I caught some fish. had another one of those experiences that I've that I've had this year that I haven't had in past years I mean I I'm not gonna go on and on and on but I will say that uh, you know if I see somebody fishing I might get down and say hi but I'm not gonna plop my ass right down beside them and go fishing you know that's just come on Okay guys, that's gonna wrap up today's adventure. Um, it's a little bit earlier than what I wanted, but uh, I'm running out of stamina. Getting tired, getting a little sore. It's probably best that I stop for the day. Uh, caught a nice bass, caught some fall fish, caught a couple uh, rock bass, caught some sunfish. All in all, it wasn't a bad day. Um, other than you know it's just a pet peeve of mine but i just can't stand it when people come down and just start fishing right next to you when you, when the creek's open you know i never do that and that's happened to me like three different times now this year it's frustrating it really really is but i change spots uh, come to the second spot here at point access where i'm at now and like i said i had a decent day caught some fish here that's all i wanted just a day to get out and catch some fish it means a lot to me. It helps me, uh, you know, it's helping me recuperate, so to speak. But uh, if you like the video, guys, give me a thumbs up. And if you like the videos I post, please subscribe to the channel. It's awesome of you to keep sticking around. Appreciate you. Until next time, guys, keep on fishing.